Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this session today we are going to see some more use cases of the Selenium standalone. So this is one of the surveys which we have seen quickly in our previous session. How to, how to download the Selenium standalone and here is the documentation they have provided that by using this command we need to use the Selenium standalone. And we have seen quickly how to run it into a Safari browser. So today we are going to see how we can run or how we can utilize this particular package to run our test cases into Chrome, Firefox or else in any other browsers as well. Now if you go back to the uh, what you call your wdio.conf.ts file, you just need to go to the services section. Now here you can go and you just need to make sure that the Selenium standalone is uh, entered here. Now you can go back to these particular capabilities and before it was uh, Safari I, we have seen right now you can execute onto the Chrome. That's it. You don't really need to do any other changes. Selenium standalone service will be applicable for all the browsers. Now if I just run this test case simply it should execute into the Chrome browser. And you can see that the Chrome driver, Chrome browser launched and it is filling all the details. That's it. It is that simple. And then now let's say that I want to run it into the Firefox. So what you need to do? You need to just change it to the Firefox. And then let's try and you need to make sure that the Firefox browser is already present on your system. If it is not yet downloaded, then please download it to the Firefox browser and then start running. So let me start this run. And as you can see that it is running on the Firefox browser. Okay, so that's it. Now let's see a couple of configurations that we can even set it instead of just changing this browser name only. Now if you go back to the documentation and we have already made it the services to, to Selenium standalone, right? But let's say that your version is different or let's say that your organization is blocked your browsers to set in what you call set in versions. Then how do you do that? Because the Selenium standalone comes up with a particular version support, right? Let's say that the driver, the browser driver that is required is not provided by the Selenium standalone. Okay, so in that case, how do you handle it? So in that case, what the WebDriver IO did, now they're providing couple of options actually here. Now let me just copy paste this entire line and then paste it into the services section. And let's try to understand these things in detail. Now if you see here in this actually I can have a parameter or a key as a drivers. Now these drivers will contain any of the key value pair of your browsers. Let's say that I want to explicitly download the 0.29.1 version of the browser driver and this is specific to the Firefox. Then I can specify here Firefox and then a specific version. If you are not giving any details, let's say that you are just uh, keeping the Selenium standalone as it is, then it would always try to install the latest browser version, uh, latest browser driver from the Google repository or maybe whatever the browser repository is there. That is what the documentation also says. You can see that latest by default if you are not specifying anything right in this case let's say that only selenium standalone now whatever the browser name you are specifying into your capabilities it always will try to download the latest version of the browser driver okay it doesn't really worry about your local browser version that is how now if you want to explicitly mention for Firefox, you can go back to the Firefox browser driver download section. Whatever the version you need, just exactly specify that version and it would be downloading that and it would override on your latest driver, whatever you are downloading. The same thing, there is another key value pair like uh, they are specifying a boolean as true. Now true is nothing but it is actually, you can see that if you want to make it a true, this is actually to use the version provided by the standalone. So that is nothing but a standalone, whatever the current Selenium standalone that it is providing or it is supporting, now that version will be coming there. Now in case of if you want to make it as latest, then it will always pick up the latest one only. 
okay from the uh, repository it will be downloading that it won't depend on the selenium standalone's default version what it is set there so that is how you can even explicitly specify different kind of browser versions and this is very essential there are certain situations where your organization might not always allow you to run your test case on the latest browser versions because there might be some security issues or some bugs they might have encountered so they might want to wait for some time once those bugs got fixed or it is coming as a long term support or the latest stable version then they allow you to change that now in that case you might get some of the conflicts so that is why it is always worth to know that where i can explicitly specify the browser versions for chrome you can definitely you can download now for each of the browser there is actually different kind of versions are there now if you go to this chrome driver you should see the versions you can see 105 4 3 the same thing all the older versions you can see now you can just copy paste this particular version and you come back here and in the single quotes you just specify it now you don't worry about what is the latest what is the selenium standalone is supporting it will give you the this 98 version probably you have a 98 version of the chrome browser installed on your system you might want to only download this particular version so in that case you have that privilege to what you call to utilize that so like this you can use different versions okay now let's see what else is there in this now you can create a variable actually at the top of your conf.ts and you can specify what versions individually you can also specify so you can see that these are nothing but the versions that we are specifying here only it is just a different way of specifying those things and if you want to know what version currently or what are the exact version names that you can they have given even the documentation for chrome driver we have seen right the same thing for github it is called uh, sorry for firefox it is called as a gecko driver the same thing if you are using chromium edge that is the microsoft edge then you can go back to the uh, edge driver link and then you can specify or you can grab the specific version that you want now you can create this at the top of your conf.ts now you can come back to here actually and in this selenium standalone and into you can use a key as aux and this drivers is nothing but this driver so different ways actually so there is nothing much you really we need to do that and here you install arguments and you can just specify drivers and this argument is nothing but all the drivers whatever you are specifying here okay so these are the different ways that you can specify that and these are actually like uh, different ways again you just don't need to worry about that actually here and in the capabilities section you can have either one browser or you can have multiple browsers as well like for an instance let's say that i want to run this particular test case in multiple browsers as well we'll see extensively in our parallel testing but i can showcase you that so what you need to do you need to just copy paste so it is basically starting this much oh, sorry so you can actually you can start another here like this and then here you can specify like this okay and you can specify another set as a browser name and here you can specify browser name and you give here chrome like this also you can specify now let's try to run this and see how it is working Now you can see that it is running on Chrome and also on the Firefox means the same test case is running on multiple browsers actually like this also you can run your test cases okay so that is one more way uh, you have to so you have to do only two things one is actually into the services you need to change to selenium standalone and you can give whatever the browser name that you want to specify as an array here actually and then it does its own job you don't really need to worry about that okay so that is pretty much it running your test cases into different other browsers hope this session is helpful if you have any questions do comment here or please let me know we can discuss it further
Stay tuned, we will be seeing some more interesting topics in our upcoming sessions. Thank you for watching.